हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑन ग्राफ थियोरी इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस दैट हाउ टू काउंट द नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स बिटवीन टू वर्टाइस इन ए गिवन ग्राफ सपोज वी आर गिवन ए ग्राफ जी इन विच वी हैर वी आर हैविंग दिस टाइप ऑफ लिस्टिंग ऑफ वर्टाइस वी वन वी टू वी एन एंड सपोज वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स फ्रॉम वर्टेक्स से वी आई टू वी जे सो अवर प्रॉब्लम इज हाउ टू डिटरमाइन द एग्जैक्ट नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स फ्रॉम वर्टेक्स वी आई टू वर्टेक्स वी जे इन ए गिवन ग्राफ जी सो फॉर दैट वी कैन यूज एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ए ग्राफ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर इन लेक्चर नंबर so if you have not seen that lecture first watch that lecture on adjacency matrix so suppose i am interested in the number of paths from vertex say vi to vertex vj so for that suppose the paths i am interested are of length r suppose we are interested in the number of paths of length r from vertex vi Two vertex v j. So for counting those number of paths, we have to find out the adjacency matrix of given graph. And if we are interested in the number of paths of length r, then we have to find out rth power of adjacency matrix. And if we are interested in the number of paths from vertex v i to vertex v j. then we have to identify the entry in ith row and jth column of this matrix so we have to decide the ith entry of rth power of adjacency matrix and that entry will give us the total number of paths of length r from vertex vi to vertex vj for example if i am interested in the total number of paths from vertex v3 to vertex v5 and suppose we are interested in the number of paths of length say 4 then first we have to find out fourth power of adjacency matrix and because here we are interested in the number of paths from vertex v3 to vertex v5 we have to find out the 3/5th entry of this matrix that is entry in third row and fifth column that entry will give us the total number of paths of length 4 from vertex v3 to vertex v5 so that is a theorem which provides this result that i have written here and uh, let capital g be a graph with adjacency matrix denoted by capital a with respect to the ordering v1 v2 vn and this result is applicable for directed as well as undirected graphs for simple graphs and uh, loops are also allowed so the number of different paths of length r from vertex vi to vertex vj equals the ith entry of a to the power r here r is a natural number or non negative integer so to understand this theorem i have taken one example we are not going for the proof of this result uh, we will uh, remember this result that rth power of adjacency matrix will help us to determine the number of different paths from vertex vi to vertex vj and that is given by ith entry of a to the power r i have taken this example here i have taken this undirected graph and i have to find out that how many paths of length 4 are there from vertex a to vertex d in the graph g which is shown in this figure so i am interested in the number of paths of length r equal to 4 from vertex a to vertex d so first i will decide what is the adjacency matrix of this graph 
and uh, for that i will list my vertices in particular order suppose i am using this listing of vertices to determine the adjacency matrix and after finding adjacency matrix because i am interested in the paths of length 4 i have to determine fourth power of adjacency matrix and then uh, if we consider this as vertex 1 2 3 and 4 then i am interested in the path from vertex a to vertex b that is from vertex 1 to 4 therefore i have to find out the entry in first row and fourth column of a to the power 4 so first we have obtained the adjacency matrix for this graph and we have discussed that how to write down the adjacency matrix for a given graph you have to first write down your vertices in a particular order suppose we are using this order then entries of adjacency matrix are nothing but suppose we are interested in this entry then this corresponds to vertex a and vertex b so here you have to write down the number of edges from vertex a to vertex b so here there is only one edge from vertex a to b similarly here you have to write down the number of edges from a to itself that is no loop at a here so we write zero then here we write number of edges from vertex a to c there is only one edge and there is no edge from a to d same pattern you have to follow for each row here we have one edge from b to a there is no edge from b to itself from b to c also there is no edge and there is one edge from b to d then from c to a there is one edge there is no edge from c to b from c to c also there is no edge and from c to d there is one edge then from d to a no edge from d to a from d to b there is one edge from d to c also there is one edge and there is no edge from d to d itself so this is our adjacency matrix and we are interested in the number of paths from vertex a to d and length of those paths are 4 so i have to determine fourth power of a so for that i will use matrix multiplication so those things i have written here first i have written the adjacency matrix of a given graph by considering this order of vertices first i find out power of second power of a that is a square that is given by a times a so i have written matrix a in the multiplication now uh, we are using simple uh, multiplication of matrices which we call as standard matrix multiplication so for that we start with first row of first matrix we consider first row into first column that is r1 into c1 so we multiply corresponding entries and add them 0 into 0 then 1 into 1 then 1 into 1 and then 0 into 0 so this will give me 2 so first entry is 2 here after that we consider r1 into c2 so you can see r1 into c2 that is 0 into 1 which is 0 plus 1 into 0 is 0 then 1 into 0 is 0 and then 0 into 1 is also 0 so second entry is 0 in a similar way i have obtained this second power of matrix a you can verify your calculations by going in this way okay after that i will consider first row into third column then first row into fourth column after completing task for first row i will go for second row so i will multiply second row with first column second row with second column second row with third column and second row with fourth column that will give me second row of a square uh, we can see for this particular r2 into c1 so i have to multiply 1 and 
that will give me 0 then 0 and 1 that is 0 then again 0 and 1 that is 0 and 1 into 0 that is 0 so this will give me 0 so in a similar way you can verify all these calculations and we obtain second power of a then we are interested in the fourth power of a so i have to decide a to the power 3 that i can write as a square times a so this is my a square and i will multiply a square with a that i have written here this is a square and a again i use that standard multiplication r1 into c1 then r1 into c2 c3 and c4 for example if we consider r1 into c1 then 2 into 0 that is 0 then 0 into 1 that is 0 then 0 into 1 again that will 0 2 into 0 is 0 so that is the first entry here then we consider r1 into c2 so 2 into 1 that is 2 plus 0 into 0 that is 0 plus 0 into 0 again that will give me 0 plus 2 into 1 that is 2 and I will have 4 here now going in a similar way I have written third power of a and finally we are interested in the fourth power of a that we write as a cube times a so this is our a cube that we multiply with adjacency matrix and again using standard matrix multiplication I obtain a to the power 4 we can check for first r1 into c1 so 0 into 0 that is 0 plus 4 into 1 that is 4 plus 4 into 1 that is 4 and plus 0 into 0 that is 0 and 4 plus 4 is 8 so in this way other entries are obtained so this is fourth power of a and we will stop here because we are interested in the paths of length 4 from vertex a to vertex d so this is vertex a and this is vertex d so that means we have to decide entry in first row and fourth column of a to the power 4 so i am interested in the one fourth entry that is 8 here so that is nothing but total number of paths of length 4 from vertex a to vertex d so the number of paths of length 4 from vertex a to d is the one fourth entry of a raised to 4 which is 8 hence there are exactly 8 paths of length 4 from vertex a to vertex d so this is very easy and uh, comfortable way of determining the number of paths of length r from one vertex to another vertex in a given graph but here if uh, the number is larger then this process of considering powers of matrices becomes tedious suppose we are interested in the number of paths of length say 8 in a given graph from one vertex to another vertex then in that case uh, we have to obtain 8th power of adjacency matrix but for smaller powers we can easily find out powers of matrices and we can determine the number of paths between two vertices in a given graph so sometimes they can ask you to find out the number of paths between two vertices in a given graph so for that remember this result suppose you are interested in the number of paths of length r from vertex vi to vertex vj then first you find out adjacency matrix then find rth power of the adjacency matrix and then determine the entry in ith row and jth column of rth power of adjacency matrix that entry will give us the exact number of paths from vertex vi to vertex vj so this is all about this session
we will continue with graph theory lectures in upcoming sessions thanks for watching